Hey everybody, sorry for the noise in the background real fast. Okay, so thank you for clicking on the video. This is my fitness journey starting back up. And I've started off with the 75 hard challenge. So for the rules of the 75 hard challenge real fast. Rule number one, you have to do two workouts every single day for 45 minutes. One of those workouts being outside. Rule number two, you got to follow a diet. Any diet you choose, the only rules to these diet is that you can have no alcohol and no cheat meals. Rule number three, you have to drink one gallon of water a day. Rule number four, you have to rent, read 10 pages of nonfiction every single day. And rule number five, you have to take a progress picture daily. Super simple and easy, right? No, that is why it's called a hard challenge, not an easy challenge. Now let's get to it. What is up guys? So I know I haven't been on YouTube posting lately, but you know, if you well, if you follow me on YouTube, well, obviously follow me on YouTube because you're here. <laughs> so if you follow me on Facebook or on Twitter, I mean not Twitter, um, Y'all, I can't think right now. The sun is blinding. So if you follow me on Facebook or on Instagram or even on TikTok, I will uh, add that link somewhere in my something on here somewhere. You can find that out. Um, you know, I started the 75 day hard challenge. Today is day three. Obviously, you know this because the title unless you just click on the video without reading the title who does that though so it's day three of my 75 day hard challenge and i am doing my first workout which is a 45 minute workout you know you have to do one if you know well if you've been watching this you will know you have to do one workout outside and one workout in door well doesn't really matter where just two 45 minute workouts one outside so I just got off of work and I was gonna change into some tights so I could like jog but I forgot my tights so I'm in jeans yeah I'm in my jeans and I am walking there's a park over by my job like right down the street from my job that i've never been to uh well this isn't my normal spot obviously you know the park that i go to is in mckinney i'm here in plano because i'm in the plano clinic this past two weeks so they have a nice little dog park out here too that has the actual park with it and a very nice little walk that's what i'm doing right now and there's nothing but like a field and a big like a walking path whatever you want to call this in the park nothing special but I will probably be posting some videos in this park soon enough because I will be bringing Elaya out here and Teddy so we can do our little walks and play time but I just want to get on here real fast and just talk to y'all all right bye all right, now let's talk about the exercises that I've done, um, starting with the warm-ups. So each warm-up that I did was either basically a walk or actual stretching warm-up that I did on YouTube. I will click, I will um, post all of the links of the videos that I used on YouTube. Sorry, one second. Okay, so, um, so one of the workouts that I did was a 10 minute perfect morning stretch to increase energy by Bloglades. I can never think of, I don't even think that's how you say the name, but I loved this workout. It was a great morning workout. It's good to start, start off your day off. It was just simply stretching and enjoying the workout was amazing. I felt great afterwards. I did feel like I had the energy to keep going and I did with my workout after that. Another warm up I did was a 10 minute good morning workout with Pamela Rafe Reef, I think. I don't remember this workout. It well, it wasn't a workout first off, it's a stretch. It's like a morning workout stretch thing. 
and I don't remember it. So I honestly cannot give an honest opinion. I know it, I did, only didn't really like one workout I did, and I don't think it was this one just for the simple fact that I know specifically what this workout was for and it wasn't in the warm up. So it had to be good. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm tired. Okay. And another warm up that I did was a 15 minute full body stretch with Mandy Morrison. I liked the stretches. I liked the warm up in general. I did not like doing it because the was no um she didn't really talk through it she just kind of moved along she did a little preview which was nice but I like to hear people talk me through the stretches let me know what I need to be doing what I need to like they explain where you need to feel it and stuff and she didn't do that but the workout itself the stretching routine itself was great and then I did a 10 minute warm up routine with Emmy Wong. I love Emmy Wong. Her workouts are super simple and easy and I enjoy doing them. And this warm up was no exception to that. I felt great after doing it. I was really want, like my body was completely stretched out. I had no sore muscles or anything and it was great. Okay, I do want to mention that for my outdoor workout, it was pretty much all the same. I would basically just walk or go up the steps for like five minutes, do a jump jack, I mean jump rope for like five minutes. And I also did my pedals, like I have these little foot pedals that I would do. And that's basically all I did every time I had to do my 45 minute workout outside. I don't know if y'all can tell, probably not because I've been wiping it, but I'm sweating. Um, I'm doing my second workout for today and I had just done a five minute warm up, just a few stretches, and then I've done five minutes of jumping jacks, 45 seconds on, 15 seconds rest, and I just did five minutes of going up and down my stairs. Now I'm doing five minute walking around and that'll be 20 minutes of this 45 minute workout. And I'm already tired. Okay, now the workouts. So I did a 30 minute fat burning home workout for beginners by Body Project. This was my first workout I did and I loved it. It was like a, um, what is that? boxing type of workout kind of kickboxing maybe no not kickboxing I think it was just a regular boxing workout but it was so fun super easy I didn't really like overdo myself I was able to go throughout the day without being completely sore but I still felt like I got a complete workout in I would definitely be doing another one of these if not redoing this one throughout these 75 days maybe just follow a program he does himself I don't know I'm gonna check it out again and look into it again another work the next workout I did was a 30 minute full body workout um 20 calorie burning moves or something like that by Lucy Windham Reed now I do a couple of her workouts um mainly because they're super easy and I can feel the pain, like, well, feel the burning, not the pain, feel the burning of the workout, but I never feel like I'm overdoing it. She does do a lot of um, repeated moves. If you do multiple workouts, you'll see a lot of the moves are the exact same each time you, in each of the videos. But when you're working out every single day, two times a day, you kind of want simplicity when you're sore. And that's exactly what she gave me. She gave me simple moves that I knew how to do and that I knew would work. Another workout by her that I did was the 20 minute beginner workout at home. And then I did 
four of her uh, workouts and one combined workout. One of the four workouts was a seven-minute workout to slim your legs, a seven-minute glute workout, a seven-minute, a seven-day, seven-minute workout to lose belly fat. That's one of her challenges that I did. It's actually the first one I ever did from her a few years ago when I wanted to work out and try to lose some belly fat. That's how I found her. And I did that workout and it was pretty easy. Um, as long as you're doing a diet, I'm sure it really works. I didn't really do that much for me personally, but it was, like I said, a seven minute workout and I wasn't dieting. So if I would have died, I'm sure I would have actually lost the weight. But I also did a four minute toned arms workout of hers. Again, like I said, her workouts are super easy, but they do have a lot of repetitive moves in each one. And that's pretty much all I did was repeat a lot of moves of hers. And I'm not condemning her for that. I enjoy it because I know what to expect and I know where I can modify them to where it'll be a little bit harder or modify it to be a little bit easier because she gives you that options. So it's not like you're doing the exact same thing. You can do an easy one first or do the easy one last and do the hard one first, hard one last, vice versa, whatever. Okay, and another workout that I did, I believe it's the last video on YouTube that I did, was a 15-minute easy fat burning home workout with the Urban Fight. Huh. Let me see if I like that. I don't remember this one. One second. Oh my God. I cannot believe I forgot this one. This was my favorite one by far. Okay. So this woman who does this, she is gorgeous. I mean, she was really pretty to me and I absolutely love the workout. It is definitely a stepping workout. It's a workout where you're going to be walking the entire time. And she gives you health tips in between the breaks. So you're not just standing there like, okay, come on now. We're about to work out. She is actually helping you get fit and stay healthy. And I just absolutely loved her. I will definitely be doing more of her workouts for sure. Okay, now time for the cool downs. So I did a five minute full body cool down stretch from Studio Jibby. Um, super easy cool down. Um, I would advise this cool down if you did not do a heavy workout. This was one of those cool downs that were if you were just like maybe walking or just doing a very light, easy workout, it would be perfect for you. I would not advise this at all for a heavy workout where you really need to fully stretch and really loosen up your body after the workout. But it was a good workout. I do enjoy it. Another cool down to do after a very easy workout is Kelly's quick cool down and stretch by Fitness Blender. Fitness Blender seems to be like a super easy workout for people. I want to say maybe who are older in age and can't move around that easily or people who are um, just beginning their workouts because everything seems to be super easy and like anyone can follow. It was a good stretch stretch for a cool down but again not for something if you were doing a heavy workout which for the most part I did not do any heavy workouts because I wanted to be able to move around throughout the whole week and working out every single day I knew as a beginner and as someone who uses whatever excuse she can to not do a workout I needed something light and simple Okay, now a workout that I do suggest you do, uh, I'm sorry, a cool down that I do suggest you do if you're doing a heavy workout would be the 10 minute cool down from Rebecca Lewis. It's a 10 minute stretch for any workout. It works amazing on loosening up those sore muscles and I really enjoyed doing this workout. Well, I'm sorry. I don't know why I keep saying workout, y'all. It's a cool down stretch. Okay, and my final cool down that I did, I'm sorry, not my final cool down, but one of the final cool downs that I did was a 10 minute cool down and stretch by guided by Angie. This was the one that I did not like at all. She didn't talk. There was no preview to the workout. There was literally like a little ding that indicated when 
the workout was over, but it also dinged before the workout ended for something else. And I wasn't sure what was going on half the time. So I was trying to stretch and cool down, but I had to watch the screen the entire time just to see what was going on. And I did not like it at all. Hey, everybody. I don't know if that was loud or just I had a headache, but I just finished my uh, 45 minute workout, my first one for the day. I'm sorry, I'm tired. Um, it kind of hit me really hard. I don't really know why. I think I might be getting sick. Um, hopefully just a sinus cold because right now that's all that's really bothering me in my head. My sinuses are just like really sore and they hurt like I'm about to get sick. Um, so I did a 45 minute walk. I had Teddy and Alea with me. It is pushing a stroller considered weight training because the thing gets heavy, especially when you walk for 45 minutes and you have like a 30 pound baby plus a 20 pound dog in it. Yes, I did say my 20 pound dog was in the stroller because, um, after a while he likes to like not walk. He's a small dog. Y'all seen Teddy. He, a chewini. So I put him in the little basket underneath the stroller and my daughter's sitting in the stroller and that's like 50 extra pounds plus the weight of the stroller itself walking on uneven ground because I'm walking outside. Obviously I'm walking outside with a stroller. I don't know who would walk inside with a stroller. I mean I guess I'm mom, whatever. Distracted anyways. So I feel like crap but I did want to say I got my workout in and it's only part one. Yay. Okay, now for the final stretch cool down that I did was a 20 minute full body stretch by Sydney Cummings. Um, it was a good stretch. What happened is I didn't want to really work out this day and I just felt like stretching would be the best thing for me. So I did most of my workout as a full body stretch and I did Sydney Cummings. It was a good workout. It was a good stretch. Um, the beginning kind of really made my arm sore more than anything because I was leaning over to a certain point. I was like, okay, let's hurry up and end this. But it was good. I don't regret not. I don't regret doing it. That's for sure. And will I be doing it again? Probably not. But it is a good work stretching workout. So if you enjoy really long stretches definitely check her out okay let's talk about the diet that i decided to do so i'm doing intermittent fasting where i can only eat in between 11 and 6 and my restrictions are no fried food no fast food no sugary drinks and i'm limiting the amount of red meat i eat now i wanted to completely cut off red meat but um Apparently bacon is red meat and I forgot about that and actually I didn't even think about it but it's a thing so bacon's red meat and then I order pizza and I like the the supreme pizza with the meat on it and the veggies and having a supreme pizza with just chicken on it does not sound good at all. So yeah that's my diet. Okay now let's talk about my results y'all. These results I'm so proud of because I was finally able to do something that I have not been able to do in every challenge that I have managed. And that was getting under 200 pounds. So I started this off at 202 and my waist was measuring about 44 and a half to 45 inches. And at the end of this week, I managed to drop down to 196. And as you saw, I measured about 44 inches around my waist. I am so excited about this because I was finally able to do something I've failed to do so many times. And I can't wait to see what this process brings.